Hello and welcome back to Software 101. In this series, Autodesk Inventor Pro 2014, uh, we're going to be covering the loft feature, which is at times, for some reason, kind of misunderstood and somewhat can be confusing. Um, my name is Matt with Lathrum Media, and let's jump into this. Have you ever had uh, an issue where maybe some duct work or a piece that uh, was cylindrical on one end but uh, rectangular or square on the other end? Uh, if you have, that is where your loft feature will come into play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a plane to sketch on, and I'm going to project my geometry like I always do. Project my center point and I'm going to create a circle and I'm gonna give this a diameter of 10 inches and I'm going to click finish now we'll say that there is 12 inches between the cylindrical end and the rectangular or boxed end uh, on this part well how do you offset uh, this plane to the you know, that 12 inches well what you'll do is you'll come up to plane or work plane and you'll start off by clicking your YZ plane, which is the sketch plane that you created your cylindrical object. Once you click on that, you'll see a blue uh, bounding box. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click and hold the edge and drag. Now I can offset this 12 inches. Now what I just did was I offset a work plane 12 inches from my original YZ plane. Uh, so I can create my square or rectangular uh, shape and what I will do is I will set that up don't want to forget to project my geometry do symmetrical constraints here and I'm going to give this a value of 12 oh, not 122 12 and I'm going to say that this edge is equal to that edge and click finish and I picked the wrong sketch okay not a big deal let me do that all over again see it doesn't matter how long you've been doing something you can still not pay attention and end up screwing something up. It's okay, that's what the undo button's for. Undo button and delete. That is equal to that, and I'm going to give this a value of 12. Okay, finished sketch. Now you'll see I have a cylindrical object on this plane, and I have a square on this plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Loft, pick my cylindrical sketch and then pick my rectangular or square sketch. Now you will see where it lofts the two different sketches together. Now I will say one thing this does get a little uh, how would I put this a little fidgety at times uh, essentially if you are trying to loft two different profiles and it is not working or it is turning yellow, uh, kind of uh, similar to this work plane, that means that it is not set up quite the way it should be. Uh, there's something wrong in what it's doing. Let's see. Oh. Edit feature. What it's doing is it's actually trying to model it as... Uh, it's modeling the output not as a solid, but as a... Uh, what is this called? Uh, I think it's a shape or something like that. Or not a shape. Uh, anyhow, it's not modeling it as a solid, which is what you're going to want to go for. So you will have to kind of double check your sketch information, make sure all your edges are complete, uh, make sure that it's not, you know doesn't have any sketch errors or anything like that. Now, as far as this other information goes, I've only used two things, and that's the rails and the center line. Usually, if you have two different sketches set up that are um, 
correct. You don't need any rails, if you will. Uh, you can also set up an area loft, which I am not sure how to do that at all. I've never tried it. Uh, you want to make sure that your loop is closed, which you will do that in your sketch. Uh, you can click on Close Loop. Uh, also, you can click on Merge Tangent Faces. You may not always need that. It's kind of up to whether or not you're having issues or not. Uh, conditions, I couldn't really tell you what it's doing. Um, or what it's used for, typically. Uh, and that, and it just aired out, so... 95. It's not going to let me do anything other er, than 90, is it? Well, I can tell you right now that that is a nifty feature that I've never played with before, to be honest with you. Um, what it's looking like here is I can modify some of this information. Uh, let's give this, well, actually, we'll turn that back. Yeah, that is honestly interesting. I've never played with those. Never whatsoever. Ooh, that's going to error. And so is that. Hmm. Not bad. Interesting. Uh, and you know what? While I'm here, I'm actually going to do a shell feature uh, while we're at it. So I'm going to turn the visibility of that work plane off. Click on the shell feature. Open you up. And move you out of the way. So I'm going to click on that face and I'm going to say I want this entire thing to have a thickness of yeah, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 inch. Works good. And I'll leave the automatic chain face on. Now you have an inside, you have an outside, and you have a both. That is the direction that your wall is facing. So if it's inside, you'll uh, let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit and toggle back and forth between these two. You'll see how your wall thickness is actually going inside and outside with your different uh, with your different uh, options selected, and you can also do both uh, where it cuts that in. You have an allow, uh, allow approximation, never too thick, never too thin, and mean. Uh, you can also optimize your tolerance and things of that nature. But if you want to shell, which is basically kind of like a drum shell, you can shell that out and create a nice little vase or flower pot or whatever where everything except for this face, because it's removing the face that you pick, uh, everything else is at a thickness of whatever you toler or uh, whatever you choose in your shell information but uh, for that or with with that being said uh, that's about it for me for today if you again if you have any questions concerns comments feel free to uh, drop them into the comment box below um, if you found this video informative at all uh, hit the like button it helps us out if you hit the like button and uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, that way you are kept up to date with all the videos that we are updating uh, but that is it for me, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.